Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Overtime. And uh, again, mayong hapon sa tanan. And uh, let, welcome, Attorney Oka Moreno, sir. I welcome, sir. And uh, uh, mayong uto, may hapon sa tanan. And uh, it's another week. And uh, of course, uh, uh, every week we want to begin with uh, the best uh, at the uh, uh, produce, no? and we're very, very fortunate na karong adlawa, karong lunes, uh, ay atong guest na kundi uh, kaya kabisi ni siya sa yes, uh, with all the uh, things that he has to attend to, and uh, I'm very grateful na he gave us time para ma-istoryahan sa atong mga uh, suki uh, di ilan din is kagayan sa mga sukintal Northern Mindanao but all over the world no? and uh, salamat kayo please do the honors of introducing yes. our special very special guest yes this afternoon let's talk about NMMC and uh, sa tanan na uh, uh, mga doctors nato din na isa ni sa atong mga pasigarbo din is region let's welcome the Assistant Clinical Head of the Cardiovascular Care and Section Head, head of the Thoracic Cardiovascular Surgery and the Chairman of the Office for Strategy Management of the Northern Mindanao Medical Center. Let's welcome Dr. Bernard Julius Rocha. Doc, mayong hapon. Yes, mayong hapon. Mayong hapon sa... Mayong hapon kang attorney. Mayong hapon, Ma Maricel. And uh, nice to see all of you yes. again uh, after <laughs> how many months. Yes. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> deja vu. <laughs> 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 no, it's COVID. No, it's COVID. Okay, it's okay. On a personal note, the Dr. Rocha is uh, very close to us. And the young mama is a young sister and the younger sister of our eldest sister is a spot. The roots are not a young sister. Ang iyan lolo si Dr. Bernardo Agulos and ang iyan lola si Mrs. Avilina uh, pero pareho to sila Ilocano si Chabiling was from Padok uh, sa uh, Ilocos Norte si Dr. Agulos was from La Union no? pero kwanto siya si Dr. Agulos was doctor of Balingasa for the longest time and uh, institution it was yeah and uh, they had three children eldest was jerry who became doctor and the minion was among eldest and to dito na din sila dagat sa surinam in paramaribo and uh, second is lady and third is lorna more mama ni mommy ni doctor rosa si lorna the Lenny and the Lorna in the 70s were international flight attendants. Wow. Oh, that's so, standard. So, we're going to be a model to Zilla. So, I'm good. We're a claro man. Beauty and brain. Zilla. 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 And, uh, uh, of course, uh, I, I saw uh, Dr. Rocha grow up. We were neighbors in Manila. Uh, the apartment niya to sa Dunggalio, the governor of Dunggalio. Daghan kami tagabaling sa akin. Red sa mga apartments ito. Uh, good, good, uh, decent place in Quezon City. So, uh, I, I feel I feel elated every time kita ko si Dr. Rocha <laughs> uh, From a young boy, nakaroon na ako na. Wow, uh, heart surgeon, ah. no, and uh, I'm sure uh, uh, his lolo, uh, Dr. Agulos, would have been very proud. And his lolo as well as a young paternal side. When I young Alan, Bernard Julius, he was named after his two lolos. Mm. Mm. Bernard was young lolo on mother's side, Julius young lolo on father's side. Yung pala yun, ang BJ. Yeah. Mm. Bernard Julius. <laughs> <laughs> the Dr. BJ Rocha of NMMC. So, Agbulos, ka ng Agbulos sa dagan mga doktor, anak. Ah, so, dagan family of doktor doctors sa Manila. Yes. Third, third generation. Third generation. Ah. Third generation. Agbulos doctors. 
sa iyang lolo, ang iyang lolo, ang kakasid, was also a doctor in Manila, na naminyo sa Tagabalingasag, mm. Mercado, Roa Mercado. O, so, mapa ka na. Ang agmulo, so, na sa Tagabalingasag siya. Uh, wow! Uh, so? Lang, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> lipay kay ko, and uh, karun, wow, uh, heart surgeon heart na. Surgeon na. Uy, you know, wow. Galing, galing. So, uh, salamat, salamat kayo for accepting our invitation, Doc. And, uh, dagan kayo ang istoryahan. Yes. Uh, firstly, siguro, we'll history. talk about the history yes. of uh, Northern Mindanao Medical Center. Uh, of course, uh, you will know, sa unang misamis pa, Undivided province. Ang capital was the town of Misamis, which became the first city and renamed Osami City. Mona siya ang unang capital of the old province of Misamis, the town of Misamis. Kaya ang mga kachila dito na headquarters of Osami City. Kaya ang Osami City na may natural defense uh, protection, kanang Pangil Bay. So it was not easy to invade, etc. Muna na adya ang kota. Kota. Ang kagayan uh, was considered as a danger zone. Kay pwede masulungon from all sides ang kagayan. No? So muna na una ang development sa the town of Misamis. Gani, na una ang Osamis na himo siya. Na una sa kagayan di oro. And uh, I would say rightly so because dito man ang station sa mga kachila. Pero when the Americans came in the 1900s, pagsugod yun sa turn of the century, pagsugod, the Americans decided to introduce education. And they built the first public high school here in Cagayan, De Misamis. Muna, Misamis High School. 1906! Ikaw yung mong katawan mo sa mong relate ako sa iyo. Okay. Katawan na ako nito. Okay, kanil. Pero i-connect na doon na karoon sa health system, health service. 1906, ang Misamis High School. 1917, ang Misamis Public Clinic. As a picture na to, enter ang Misamis. Kaya nang naas mo na ako, 1917, Misamis Public Hospital. Primero, public clinic lang na, and then Ahimo Hospital na, and then... Nisha, if I'm not mistaken, that this was actually, the reason why they did that, put up the public hospital, was because of the pandemic. You see, the ah, yung, ano, ano the yung, yung flu, the, yes, that was the pandemic, yeah, yun, yes, the that's why they, Meron tayo, no? oh, that they, they oh, put up that, oh, to. pandemic man, so, mm -hmm. so that's why they, they <laughs> made that. COVID, COVID was a version that followed yeah, the that's Spanish a, flu. Muna siya, na, that's why that. Kaya namin ang matay sa tato, di ba? I got, the one who told me that was Dr. Aichon. Dr. Aichon actually, she did the research on all of these pictures that we see on the, that's being flashed, na ano, on the screen. Muna, she did the research on that. Gina Aichon. Yes. Wow. And then it was converted to Misamis Oriental Provincial Hospital in 1945, no? Uh, right up to Noah. Up to Noah. Provincial. And then, uh, Naimong Northern Mindanao Regional Hospital in 1966. Wow. Uh, uh, makapagal pa ang ano, Marcos ang presidente ni Zed. And, uh, uh, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Marcos became president in 65. But I'm sure getting a ballot known has been worked out by then Senator Manning Pilais, although his term ended in 1965 because he lost to Marcos 
convention nila. Mm. Convention to uh, run against Makapagal. Ang Liberal Party, uh, ang NP rather chose uh, Marcos, Marcos over Pilaes. Uh, so, nahimong regional training hospital. And then, 1995, nahimong Northern Mindanao Medical Center. Muna na, maandan sa kasagaran sa uban sa provincial ilang tawag. Kaya muna kinakaraan. Muna maging inaandan, muna maging nauna. 1945 pa, uh, during the war, no? And then, uh, uh, that time, uh, undivided pa. Ano? Dili, divided na ang misamis rin ta. Uh, ang misamis kay 1931. Ang old province of Misamis, kanang una, 1917, Misamis Public Hospital, kay ang Oriental o Occidental were still undivided. Pero mm -hmm. in 1945, divided na ang Oriental. So, Munang nanay, Misamis. Munang nanay, Oriental. Then Occidental. Oo, oh, Occidental. Uh, Separate yeah. sila. Yeah. Then, yeah. Later on, ang usa na. Oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. Ako, katamot pa ko. Anang, pero 45. Mars. Ah. Mars ah. naman sa ila. Huh? For Occidental is Mars. Ah, Mars na. Oh. Oh. Mars Gen. Uh, muna oh, ang Mars Gen. Kung kung itong uh, Mars stands for Moment of the One? Ramiro. Oh, Ramiro. Oh, oh. Ramiro. Uh, yeah. Ramiro. Ramiro. Ito yung abda ni mga ni Sir nga hospital. Karang yung walkway. Katamod ba? Kaya itong pero 45 lang pa kung matawa na. <laughs> <laughs> so, hindi ka nasa 1966. Dili. Di, Pagpagyapong kuha ng 60, anong, anong itsura sa Fort Mo, anong main building. Annex ka na, na ay, sa tuo na ay walkway, mm. annex ka na, and then na ay mga clinics na yun dito, na ay x-ray. Okay, mo nang 1960 plus, uh, 63, 64, sa fracture mga kung 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 sa uh, NMMC. Ang una, uh, ang usa sa doha mo nakabones, diba? Ang usa lang na fracture. And then after naghil na, after a few months, disgrasya na naman ako. Basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, ang second na ko, uh, nabuak na yun itong doha ka bones. Mm -hmm. Nabuak na. So, dyan ako sa pan. Uh, dyan nag-cast niya ito. Ang cast na cast. So, grabe, uh, one ng changes, ha? I believe ka, Northern Mindanao region. So, what did I say? Imagine, uh, 30 years after, it's not for his chura, but... Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but I think the challenge is the space is good for him. Oh, 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 oh. Now, so, let's ask Dr. Rocha, ano na ang nangyari since begin, the beginning, no? To, first, ano na to is, ano na ngayon ang NMMC? NMMC, kumusta na siya? And then, <coughs> mamaya, so, no, the topic na to is, Ano ang mararatnan ng NMC? Actually na ano no, uh, attorney no, I was able to reach NMC. Uh -huh. Kay pagsugod na kong training din ha. That was way back 2005, mm -hmm. 2005 pa. And napaka na mga annex. Mm -hmm. Napaka to ano, annex 1 2 3 uh -huh. na mumana the the whole situation now that the look of NMMC nag totally day iba na eh iba na eh na, 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 ano eh. but when i was training there kana sa general surgery uh we were divided syempre naman dito kanang ang training units on the different departments we yeah. have internal medicine general surgery anesthesia uh we have ENT opta ob pediatrics so the training was there no, the, and then uh, after my residency training, when I went already into fellowship training, bago ko ni Lakao, no, the, the NMMC was one of those, actually, murag, it wasn't really ours to start off with. The, the program, the HLK, Heart, Lung, Kidney Program, sa government before, na uh, in partnership with the uh, with, uh, Netherlands. Netherlands. Sila man nag-supply sa mga, uh, what do you call this, mga cat lab, the equipment, everything. Actually, 
dili dili kana siya na then uh, the the ano no the chief back then was Dr. Clarete nakabot pa ko kang Dr. Clarete oh, yes medical director oh siya ang medical center chief kay wala man they they gi offer sa gi offer siya to the different ano no to the different DOH hospitals who wants to partake in that program and there was a specific hospital at the last of the list na murag nag I forgot what hospital na ingon niya na dili that that is not uh, we are not uh, ready for that yet uh, na si Dr. Clarete nagingon siya na kami we will get that that's what Dr. Chan told me we will get that 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 program so muna when I left for ano uh, for my training no after I finished my general residency training 2000 January 2009 The naghimo na siya. There was already plans of NMMC putting up all this uh, new equipment because the equipment so, were arrived already. Mm-hmm. So dinha gyud na plano ka ng cat lab kana mm. uh, towards the surgery, oh. no? Na na dito. And then um, kabalo ka the, the 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 building now that were the HLK building where they put up the heart lung kidney na building. Uh, That was first ang ang primero na groundbreaking ana was secretary was then uh, that at that time was she was a USEC pa I think si Obial Obial ah. Obial was the one who did the groundbreaking of that yet uh-huh. during that time to come up with that 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 building uh-huh. so um pag abot nako na, na from from after my training no that was January 2013 All the machines actually and everything were there. Na na dito sa sa NMMC kanang na na nahatag sa sa what they call this Netherlands. So the challenge of NMMC there when we left uh, that was 2009 kay uh, three years man ang ang training man ana eh. Uh, kami there was a group of us me uh, Dr. Lumo was an anesthesiologist um, and um, My wife was the cardiologist also oh. who went there sa heart center uh, uh Dr. Rowena Rocha si Pulmo Pulmo was Dr. Irene Casino oh. all of us took training sa sa heart center so that when we came back came back oh. we have to put up that program ah, galing, galing. so we started that January so when we did that by March We were already operating open heart surgery by March already. Wow. Okay, we had to look at the equipment. We had to try it before we actually. Momana na during that time, no, that uh, katung sona. If you recall that sona yeah. of the si, uh, the late president uh, Benigno Aquino Jr. Oh, no. Si Noy Noy, uh, si Pinoy during that time. Nagingon na siya na we are already capable of performing open heart surgery at Cagayan de Oro. Oh. That was because of that one. Oh. We performed several, ano na. So, so NMMC, there was um, uh, a change, no? Na before we were just on general, general oh. in, in internal medicine, general surgery. Now it became a subspecialty center. The first Open heart surgery was when again? 2013, March 2013. 2013. Oh. March 2013. Mm-hmm. But then, uh, if that is just talking about uh, katong open heart surgeries, no, which was really unheard of. Mm-hmm. Kanang wala mang kanasa na if if nagyut kanasa na problema sa kasing kasing and needed surgery, it was either you go to Manila, you go to Cebu, or you go to Davao. Kay Davao na established na ang ilang katong sa SPMC katong Mindanao Heart. Mm-hmm. So, uh, of course there was Soto. So, more na ang choices if you were in Misamis or Northern Mindanao during that time. But then uh, but now ever since that time, pwede na din ha na mag open heart surgery, not only for adult, also for pediatrics. Oh. Oh. But that's just talking about cardiac, no, na side. Kay Uh, before us, they were able to do also transplant already. NMMC is now doing kidney transplants almost every month. Wow. Uh, so, 
from the time I trained to now, it, it's, it's very different already. Yeah. Because there are so many subspecialties na pwede na ihatag. And mind you, kini siya na mga, ano, no? kini na mga highly specialized na mga, na mga, let's say, surgeries or management mm. for a certain type of diseases na uh, you have to go to a higher center, whether yeah. it be Philippine Heart Center, NKTI, uh, uh, Lung Center, mm. or Children's mm. Hospital. They're all already available, Denisa, yeah. NMMC, and it is actually for free. Wow. wow. Yeah, no. That was, uh, of course, that was uh, also in the mind of President uh, Marcos, uh, Ian Sona, mm. when he said, uh, we will disperse our specialty hospitals. No? So in place na yan. Mm -hmm. And uh, talking about specialty hospitals now what services are available now in Cagayan de Oro through NMMC? Now kasi um, we are actually mandated now sa Department of Health no, uh, to come up with 14, 14 a basic and advanced multi-specialty centers. So unsa ang uh, included sa 14? Amo man ang katong heart, no? the cardiovascular program. There's the lung program. We have to kasi murag, uh, more or less there is a reference hospital or uh, yeah, na yeah. among yun, it is part of their, ano ba? Uh, it is part, they're mandated to uh, train and then send them back. Uh -huh. So that you have to come up with that. So uh, the heart program is there. Uh, sa heart center, kanya sa din lung, the lung program. Kidney. Uh, we have also the eye, orthopedics, rehab, geriatrics, toxicology. Uh, there is also trauma. Nagyo trauma ka na na ano. Um, neonatal care. Um, uh, I, I, can, I can remember the other four, pero mama na siya. So all of this, no, we are trying here in NMMC to come up with all this programs yeah. because we are given muragitagaan mi og certain number of years to complete it yeah. to make it fully functional so karon ang pinaka um, what do you call this kay pinaka una gyud siya na kinalan na na human na and fully functional is the cardiovascular care so kana siya we can actually op uh, we we offer uh, open heart surgeries uh, even kanang mga angiogram uh, we're going already to mga stenting angioplasty uh, kanang mga complex, even complex cases, kanang mga, mga sakit sa mga congenital diseases sa mga bata. Last week, we just uh, operated, it was actually a referral from uh, Pagadian, if I'm not mistaken, or was it Butuan? One of those na we operated on a 29-day-old uh, mm -hmm. baby. Uh, we had to correct the defect sa iyang kasing-kasing. Kuloy sa Diyos, nakauli naman. So, uh, so, that one kasi, neonates are very hard to operate. So, the mere fact na kaya na nato din ha sa NMMC, which is, uh, diba, there's always that stigma between a government hospital eh, yes. uh, yeah, and true. a private hospital. So, kung kami na ganit ang ang Ang, ang gusto namo no, na mahibawan sa katawan really is that if you are just to compare facilities with a private hospital, sa tinood lang, NMMC yeah, is yeah. higher. Oh. It is more advanced ang NMMC karon Because uh, that is what we, we try to get. Mm -hmm. So that even though with this, ano, no, um, with this high-tech equipment that we have, no, uh, we have also the training and the specialists na naagyud sa NMMC. The, uh, of course, na naagyud ka na siya sa mga private hospitals, no? But the, the difference now, na as compared before, is that uh, kinima specialista is really their dedication in helping sa NMMC. So naagya po din So we can offer the same. Na ka na siya. Kung unsay pwede himuon ka na siya sa mga private hospitals, Kaya gyapon din sa NMMC. Yeah, galing. Kay, uh, uh, 
yes, uh, generally, uh, merong even pwedeng matawag na bias between a private hospital and a public hospital, a government hospital. Uh, ang preferences dito sa private. Uh, kahit mahal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Usahe ka ni lagi na ako, uh, many, many that I have advised, ako sila inon, mas maayo sa NMMC. Eh, mas kompleto and then pati mga doktor are uh, uh, kompleto sa no? Not, not saying, not meaning uh, less complete ang private hospitals, no? Pero mulagi, uh, uh, kung wala yung PhilHealth, mahal yung kayo sa private hospital. But anyway, uh, uh, gusto sa nato mo succeed ang private hospitals, mm-hmm. no? In fact, uh, nakita ko man, uh, when we enrolled sa PhilHealth way back in 2000, Six, two thousand, yeah, so good, uh, five, six. Uh, nakita ko ang growth sa mga private hospitals na to din eh. Nakita ko ang ilang growth, no? And uh, I was I was amazed, no, ang, uh, ang private hospitals na grow. Kaya abini mo, itong uh, gamay ko ko, Sel, uh, uh, mismo gani, gallbladder operation, uh, appendectomy, dito pa si Bo ipadala. Mm-hmm. Dito pa si Bo, ako, ang mga uh, ayaan, and so, so natun na namang sa barko, welcome pa pag-abot ikan sa si Bo and all that, no? And karon uh, I had my gallbladder uh, in 2009, hindi din ako sa kwan. Kagayaan pala na mga atog si Bo or Manila, no? So, lahit na giyod ang atong hospital system. And talking of the hospital system, ang NMMC, without a doubt, is is uh, ang pinaka apex, pinaka apex na gilid ng hospital. Labi na tong ito po tong COVID, di ba? Mm-hmm. Yes. You know when when the COVID started, uh, uh, I, I remember distinctly ang DOH uh, director Subahan announced yeah. nga all secondary and tertiary hospitals are Uh, required to admit COVID positive patients. Now, instantly, ang mga private hospitals were uh, against that. No, kay hadlok it down sila nga mo 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 in mo spread ang ang virus. No, and uh, so nita bo NMMC decided kami ang mahimong soul. COVID referral hospital. NMMC and uh, saludong ko kayo sa NMMC ang ano nga uh, uh, when others uh, uh, wanted to say no because understandably of the infectious, highly infectious nature of the virus, NMMC stood tall, stood up and said kami. Motong nagtabang sa dayon mga private hospitals including the uh, city tabang uh, sa in decongesting NMMC and in fact katong uh, sitwasyon sel katong sitwasyon uh, atong nakita ang epekto ato was uh, we had already started implementing the universal one of the features of the universal healthcare which is dito sa health center No, na kita na to, I remember June, July of 2001, 21, ang atong mga health centers. Ang unang, pangutanon ako si Dr. Rocks at that time, kumusta ang panganak. At ang, ang data ninyo sa NMMC, uh, very minimal na lang ang panganak. Ang, kung naaman o galing katong mga sisarian, ano tawag niyo? May, may, may term kayo nun sa sisarian. Yeah, they are... Yung mga cesarean ng panganak, TBI, so ano ba yun? Yeah. In, anyway, pero kung ang yun, katurang cesarean ang, sa ila sa NMMC. Yes, Normal sir. delivery sa ato ng health Centers center. Centers na. Oh. Yeah. I-greet ko lang, sir, Dr. William Bernardo na nanaw siya karoon. <laughs> uh, timing kayo ang uh-huh. discussion nato. 
Good PM, sir, and to your guest. Uh, I yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we miss you. We miss you. <laughs> and of course, uh, anyway, kanang universal healthcare, kanang ang, ang mga health centers, no? Sinagot na nila ang mga panganganak. Do you remember? I would, I would ask you kung ilan ba ang panganak na nireport sa NMMC daily. Paliit ng paliit, sir. Una na ano yung attorney, the, the mandate kasi of the 14 health centers, that is actually in preparation for the universal health care. Yeah, yeah. oh, and supposedly, if uh, uh, everything goes according to plan, no? the ang, ang target man ka sa Department of Health, dapat ka na ma-implement siya fully next year. So, ang may na, because NMMC is the only level 3 hospital in uh, the whole of Northern Mindanao. Mm -hmm. So, uh, sa Amoha, uh, the plan kasi, sa Amog yun ang mga highly specialized, kanang mga uh, ubosip on, mga, mga normal deliveries, Alala. dapat dili na maubot sa Amog. Dapat oh. PCB ata. Oh, dapat kana siya, it has to be on the kanang mga level 1, yeah. level 2, ana siya. Kanang mga kinangan yun of, oh of highly specialized na mga na mga management or care dito pa ingon sa amoha but of course we can we cater to that to ano but then uh, we have to decongest man decongest yes yeah ang kwan karon so na na kidney transplant yes uh siya regular na na karon din sa NMC the, um, unlike, let's say, no, unlike cardiovascular care, no, ang kidney transplant kasi, uh, medyo mas dugay yun and it goes to an, uh, uh, more, um, let's say, more of an extensive process. Bago ma, ma, unsa ni ba, maka, murag mo pasar sa ang isa ka donor and the recipient, no? It, uh, there, there, it, it goes to a, long process although nagit sila listahan uh, but the uh, ang kidney transplant before kana siya na maka transplant mi sa una siguro mga tulo sa isa ka isa ka tuig now it's actually every month oh. or every month nagit kana siya na ano now uh, they just performed an uh, kidney transplant last week mm -hmm. and the patient is going home kumusta ang tomorrow. atong mga mag-conduct sa Yes, na nasa nat na tay mga transplant surgeons, no? Doctor Alajal who trained sa NKTI, National Kidney and Transplant, no? Institute. Naman kana siya sa isa one of the staff din sa NMMC. So we do that. We we do transplants already sa sa NMMC. Dok kung sa private ni siya ng operation tagpila. Kanang transplant, no? Uh, siguro ang magasto ana is minimum na kana siya sa maybe about maybe 1.2. Oh my God. And then you're giving it na free na siya sa Yes, MMC. under the Z package program, basta makano sila, maka, makalusot sila sa Z package program. The, actually, it, it, it falls like free because it is actually being shouldered kung makapasar sila sa field health program, the Z package program or catastrophic diseases. The field health gives 600,000 for their surgery. And the rest is uh, covered na sa NMMC. Yes, uh, actually that, that whole 600,000 dapat tanan-tanan ka na siya. Ang difference kasi sa, sa private, of course there's a markup. Uh, there's a markup and then uh, naagya po ang kanang mga PF sa mga doctors. Ano, doctors. Now, let's say for, uh, I'm more familiar kasi with the, let's say, cardiovascular program. An open heart surgery, let's say a bypass, no? A patient needs a bypass. Sa, sa private, mugasta good inana. Something in the realms of 1.2 to 1.5. Depende kung unsa, kung asa o, o kung unsa ang ano, no? Ang kaso na sa pasyente. But uh, sa amo din eh, sa NMMC. Sa one, kung senior citizen na naiinana, of course, based on the law, wala agad sila bayaran. So we give that for, for free. Uh, kanang ilang bypass, no? 
Others, they can uh, enroll themselves in the, what we call nga, the Z package program. Mm -hmm. uh, 550,000 ihatag sa uh, field yeah. health para sa ilang operasyon. Mm -hmm. And we have been doing that. And there are other, let, let's say, uh, I've been operating also uh, this past few weeks, no? Kung ka ng mga pasyente na dagan-dagan ka na siya who needs a pacemaker. Mm -hmm. So, ang pacemaker, kung palito ng pacemaker, mabot ka na siya of, let's say, 90,000. 90,000 ang isa ka pacemaker. In NMMC, there is a, ano, we give that for free. Taas ba ang pila natin dyan sa NMMC? Unfortunately, monag yun. Ang, ang problema din na sa NMMC is, uh, taas yun. Taas yun ang linya. You're talking about, um, let's say for open heart surgery alone, siguro uh, nasa more than 100 na, wow. na ano, wow. din ha. Ang uh, kinanglan operahan, no? Yeah. More, more than that. Uh, and uh, we have only one team. Wow. There is only one team that uh, performs, let's say, open heart surgery. So, ang, ang, ma, eh, ang kaya namo within, let's say, in a week's time, we have to uh, do two operations, no? Na, uh, kay, we have to divide the OR, eh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, Tuesdays, uh, ang mahitabuan na Mondays, uh, operahan na mo ka ng mga nay mga problema o nay mga sakit sa lungs. Mm. So, uh, Tuesdays, ka ng among mga pediatric cardiac cases. So, cardiovascular surgery sa mga bata is Tuesdays. Wednesdays are for transplant. Transplant surgery. Adult, ka na sa problema sa kasing-kasing is Thursdays. And then, euro, urology, ka ng mga sakit sa kidneys, ang for Fridays. Ang scheduling ninyo, Doc, dili po malangan kung na-eye patient. Kayo sa ipag, ang ilang perception is the uh, government hospital, dugay kaayo siya maoperahan tungod kay Dagan ang nakaline up. Uh, mo, mo man, ah, kinanglan yun na masabtan yun sa mga ano. And we try to uh, communicate naman sa ilahan. No? Kay, syempre, uh, muingon sila na o kinahalan naman sila operahan. Klaro man, let's say, during the assessment. And there, there is some urgency, let's say, to yeah, some, yeah. there's some urgency na kinahalan sila yeah, operahan. Yeah, yeah. However, kinahalan na may bawang gyapon sa katawahan na dili lang sila ang inana. Uh -huh. You're talking about daghan, daghan sila inana. Uh -huh. So we cannot, uh, the, there, there might be some delay, quote-unquote, sa ilang surgery, but as much as possible, tanawan man mo eh. Kanang we have to prioritize, no? Kung yeah. kinsa ang kinahanglan na yun, i-admit man siya diretsyo. Then, then we perform the surgery kung kinahanglan. Pero there are others kasi na naiuban. Naiuban, tungkol sa taas ng listahan din, na napektuhan sa COVID, no? Uh, kinahanglan na i-bypass. Well, kaloy sa Diyos, na wala man sila na unsa. And it took over a year. Took over a year bago siya na-operan. But, he was a happy client. Kina operan mang yapon, and he's doing well already. So uh, there are others, kasi na inanagyud. It case to case basis. Tungod sa daghan kayo, labi na nakaroon na we started opening up again. Yes. yes. So ang ang yeah. poor sa mga patients ba na as compared before kanang sa COVID karon daghan nagyun. Daghan and we're not talking about na dinhi lang sa kagayan di oro. Yeah. Yeah. Karon, even the different regions kay yeah. uh, walay walay inana na sa yeah. na Sorry, service even Karaga wala man okay. bar so, wala pa so kabot ka na mga ka na mga gikan sa mga Marawi Lanao maabot gyud sa amoa ang gina sa kay syempre ang NMC is the apex hospital and uh, Di, hindi pa kaya sa ibang hospitals. I would say sa whole of upper half of Mindanao. Upper half of Mindanao. No? So everybody comes to NMMC. So kanayin mong listahan uh, more than 100 includes those from Caraga, Tambonga, etc. No? So uh, very challenging. Now, so uh, and of course, uh, limited sad ang, ang inyong mahimo for varying reasons. 
Number one, as you said, you are one team. Uh, number two, ang operating room uh, once a week lang for these uh, specialty cases. No? And number three, walang hospital that has the same uh, operating room capacity. So I guess ang looking ahead, uh, uh, we'll just have to level up. We'll just have to level up. Dahil uh, ang problema ni Niasel, the others would, it will be very difficult for the others to level up. Uh, okay, ang pandin eh, uh, ang kanapangong pag-produce sa mga surgeons, you don't do that overnight. Okay, ang unang advantage kayong NMMC, okay, ang ilang mga trainings niya include training sa heart center. So, hinanagina, no? Uh, more and more doctors will come in uh, and uh, follow the lead of Dr. Rocha pag training sa uh, heart center. And then pagbalik, pwede na. Patagtagan na ang ilang team. So, which means... Uh, we need more medical schools. Yes. Uh, is Karon uh, Savior and ang CU na wala wala no. Savior Liceo, Liceo. and uh, USTP. USTP nag put up na ng yes, medical USTP. school. That's good no. So USTP. that means that means uh, uh, we will be producing more doctors uh, locally. And then uh, hopefully, hopefully, ang NUMC, hey, uh, magina, ang NUMC will have to look for ways to respond to the need. Kay ang need is, ang demand, gasaka. Ang gasaka, no? So NUMC will have to level up. And they are now leveling up. No? Good, good you mentioned yeah. that, Attorney, because um, uh, what what happened now, kini sa NUMC now, kay before it was really training, no? Training sa mga, uh, well, general surgery, mm -hmm. general in, internal medicine, ana siya, general pediatrics. Now we, we, we are ready na. on specialty trainings na. So, nauna na din ha, ang kanang, uh, we have already uh, urology, we have uh, surgical oncology. Uh, now we have also uh, neurosurgery. Uh, later on, we're going to adult cardiology. Din mo ato sa Manila. Manila. Uh -huh. Sa Then adult nephrology. Uh, and then we have already mga okay. ge geriatrics, neonatology. Uh, so all of that, no? Na we are already going towards that. Na sakto gud si ano eh, si attorney na we are leveling up already. Uh -huh. Now we have to be that one so that uh, we can address also yeah. kanang ang mm -hmm. ang kinahanglan sa uban oh. na like Mars Gen and uh, my pakpak na you train will we will train you and then we will send you back there and kay, then sila na pod kay di man kaya sa uban yes dili yes, kaya dili sa uban kaya. it has to be in MMC mm -hmm. uh, so uh, yun ang ano eh yun ang uh, the more patronized you are, the more indispensable you become. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yan, What about ang mga nurses, Doc? Na. Yes. Retention uh, program for the nurses. I think specialized po na kay naman mm -hmm. sa operation, operating room. Also, one thing kasi ang problema sa, ano no, sa nag-increase yun ang among bed capacity. So, the challenge, the challenge in any hospital yun is nurses. Wala gyud kanang daghan gyud ang kinanglan og man nurses especially the patient to nurse ratio no So uh, ang maayo sa amo ha is that we 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 had ano uh, we we open up new items para makadawat mi og kanang man nurses and there are no man nurses naman who are willing to you know serve the the their uh, fellow countrymen na dili sila mo gawas So uh, aside from that no uh, na good sa muha, since we're going into the specialty centers, yeah. amo good sila ipatrain. Ipatrain na good na mo, ipadala good na mo sa heart center, padala mo sa NKTI, eh, etc. Yeah. On all this, ano, and then they come back. Yeah. And of course, uh, mutabang sila sa mga heart, sa atong mga programa, no? 
ng mga specialty centers. Yeah. So, all of that, not only nurses lang, that, that includes also ka ng mga PT, social worker, yes. uh, laboratory, so radiology ka ng mga rad tech. So, all of this, we train them because NMMC is the end referral. Oh. Hospital. Next question, Diri Doc. Uh, this one is from Ma'am Laverne. Uh, hi, Ma'am Maricel and Attorney Oscar. Ang work up ba, especially for cross matching sa donor and recipient, padala bagi hapon sa NKTI or available na sa NMMC? Uh, there is a MOA uh, existing between NKTI and NMMC because uh, kinala may bawan yapon na it is not that easy to come up with this special equipment. Uh, mahal ka na siya in, in, the, ter, in, in the sense that um, uh, kinanglan daghan for, okay. for actually for it to make sense no? uh, na daghan yun ang kinanglan ni mo ng mga patient population so for now maybe later on we will get there maybe but for now mas, uh, I think it is more practical for us na we'll do the work up here we'll get everything then kami na din sa NWC magpadala sa NKTI okay. So, now, kumusta yes. dak ang the COVID pandemic has somehow uh, made some medical personnel decide, although reluctantly, uh, to take a leave or mm -hmm. to uh, uh, spend their time elsewhere. No, medyo yun na uh, dissipate ang mm -hmm. medical workforce. Uh, how are things now? Uh, is there uh, uh, nagkaroon na ba ng reversal na yun? Uh, Bumabalik na ba? Or, yes. Or... Yes. Sa tinunod lang, attorney, na that we have uh, more or less nibalik na yun ang, ang before murag lisod ka na siya ng mangita kung uh -huh. kinsa mag-apply. Now, daghan. Daghan. They are, they are coming because you know, and of course, kanang marag ni sa kanang manggiyod ang mga incentives, no? Yeah. Sa sa gobyerno on in terms of salary uh, for our which is dugay na dapat na nahimo. Oh. Yeah, that is how really we can uh, uh, because now the competition, especially if we're talking about nurses, no? Ang competition good sa gawas, di na kinanglan good og kanang uh, experience. Oh. They don't, they don't need experience already because of the reputation of Filipino nurses. So that is why we have to keep that asset. And ang mga Filipino nurses na to. So now, nakita yun namo sa NMMC, no? Even na uh, makita namo sa mga mes messages sa among uh, Facebook uh, Messenger, no? Na they are really, ano, na nabay bakante, nabay ano, ana. So we have already... Uh, and then the items the na good ganasha. So eventually we will start. Uh, well, no, we have already in the process of hiring more nurses. So ni balik gitsa as compared katong. Although yeah. don't 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 ano ha, na na good na mugawas. Eh, ina yeah, yeah. The turnover sa mga nurses yeah, good yeah. na they get they na mugawas good sila. Na good na mo resign and uh, they they will go somewhere else. But uh, now we have seen the trend na. Although there are people leaving, mas daghan ang yun ang ga-apply yeah, na yeah. din hiya sa government hospital. Yeah, yeah. Kitagan sa na atong mga, kitagan sa na atong mga medical uh, graduates no, sa atong mga medical students. Pag nakita nila the capability of NMMC, yeah. murag na, murag, yeah. lahi na siya eh. Lahi na, this is not just... Uh, provincial hospital na was was is being talked about we're talking about a uh, a very uh, what do you call this siguro makaingon gud ko na world class na ano na going there no na a level 3 uh, government facility capable of performing those uh, surgeries or whatever management yeah, na yeah. na you can only see sa before manila lang gud na Karon din naman ka kinanglan mo lupad pa ayon dito. Yeah. yeah, sir, very limited ang space sa uh, NMMC. Unsay plano niya para expansion? Uh, Momena, na you see, you see there sa ano no na gipagwas dito no. So we have this um uh, uh, kanang buildings no. The HLK building or the Heartland Kidney 
uh, building mo man ang katong atbang bitaw sa Gaysano. Yeah, sige na ba. Mm. Okay, okay. Uh, M, please. Katong room chat. Ibo niya ang mga buildings. Sige lang. Katong They have actually katong okay. aerial view. Sige. So now, mama na ang isaka building. We have already also our cancer institute. Na it's already standing, no? And then katung kung asa ang arid, katung arid before, katung green. Mo na ang katung green. Makita niyo kana sa the upper left, no? The upper left, the one facing the one facing Gaysano. Ah, okay. The one facing Gaysano. Uh, that big building there. Oh. Do you see that small moment na ang Burger King sa una? Oh. Kay yes, Dines yes, Centrio, yes. moment ang Burger King sa una? The one beside that, that's the heart lung kidney building. Uh. Moment na siya. The one beside that, katong green na taas, oh. that is the moment ang arid sa una, na yeah. you know, ano the new building. Oh. Uh, However, ang nabilin lang din ha, na for COVID is just the sixth floor na. Okay. Sixth floor. So the rest, uh, nibalik naman siya sa usual na mo ng mga... Uh, actually, ng mga wards and ano, no? Niabrin na gyapon, uh, nag-abrin na gyapon ang katong sa likod niya na makita ninyo yung green. Yeah. So yeah. It, it's getting bigger. So that is where katong, katong video na akong gipost na nag-viral mo ma na ang kanasya na na bago na OR it's already there that's in the the building behind the yes ah 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 Uh, high tech actually this this technology came from Poland eh. oh. the Poland uh, What's that, huh? that is a moment among wash area so you do not touch anything anymore <laughs> those are all sensors even the doors they're all uh, sensors no kinisa pasulod na mi ani sa operating room theater oh. so that is the new uh, operating room theater and here i was actually mentioning na Napata sa let's look at the operating room sa Singapore Gen pero nagingon ko na they are all NMC they're all NMC personnel so people saw that na di ay inana sa kagyan di oro which is actually an integrated OR makita niyo here we're going to perform open heart surgery our lights they have cameras that's our heart lung machine we are actually about to perform Open heart surgery on a 32-year-old female there. That's an anesthesiologist. That's Dr. Abadies. That's Dr. Makatamon. That's Dr. Abadies. Dr. Toledo. That's Dr. Sasil there doing the intraoperative transesophageal echocardiogram. So all of this, you, 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 you. When kung masturyan lang ni mo kana sa those are things that you see on very kana advanced centers, ba high centers. Heart center or even the oh kanang kanang nagud kanang open heart surgery ana kagendi oro NMC merag ana sila ba so now it is actually we've been doing this we've been doing this ang ang lahi lang is that this kase became viral eh but we have been doing that since 2013 we just don't ano we we have been more or less ano Oh, we 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 ano naman we we try to promote naman in terms of that, but then of course ni ni abot naman ang pandemic and everything, no? So now at least more more or less na kabalu na mga ang ang mga tao na nadiay nadiay sa NMC. That one palang nakita niyo at the back. Eventually makita niyo in the next coming months, murag ang middle sa NMC will have a big hole. Kay i demolish man ang tunga sa mga so basically ang periphery mabilin because from that will rise a ten ten story building and two basement kana sa and that will be the rest of the centers the the trauma center the all the other centers na 
in the planning. So it will be one of the biggest uh, hospitals here in Cagayan de Oro, ang NMMC. And the region, upper half of Mindanao, I would say. Yes, yeah, so yeah. mama na ang direction sa yeah. NMMC karon. Although, baka pwede rin sabihin na uh, the years ahead, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, uh, baka relocation would still be very crucial for NMMC. You know what was important actually, uh, Attorney, no, was the also the serid mm -hmm. that was given to us. Mm -hmm. Because as a, as a yes, because I I forgot to mention that that is part of the fourteen multi specialty center infectious diseases. Ah, okay. Okay, so the plan there, mm. that one eventually will be the target and the planning for five years is really to relocate all infectious, well, infectious diseases, diseases. Yes. there. Yeah. That is the that is the plan. That is the plan. <laughs> There are three existing buildings from, from the series that you gave, DPWH gave us uh, another building and then there's another one being put up. And then uh, our uh, grant from, uh, I think, ADB, Dina Agyapon. So eventually, Murag, initially, it will be under Kanasha sa Northern Mindanao Medical Center. And eventually, kung as Murag okay na ang ilang uh, padagan ana, we have to separate and oh. it will be a stand alone oh. infectious Pero disease RITM hospital RITM still is uh, part of the D DOH family yes yes, oh. yes. Oh. dapat it will still be under DOH na ano mm -hmm. uh, but it will be a stand alone na uh, infectious uh, disease hospital included din ha ang mga trainings yeah so appeal yeah. ang yeah. appeal ang mga residency training fellowship training yeah. nurses na training din ha direction oh. Okay. So, uh, ba? <laughs> Work time to so kay ulan na by, by the way. 20% magamit cell ang kuan. Uh, have you seen Rubia Hospital and Tablon Hospital? Ah, yes. Uh, I've heard of, I haven't seen it yet pero nadunggan na gyud na ko na ang Lumbia ug ang Tablon. Lumbia ug Tablon gyud mga 50 bed capacity mo sila initially. Mm -hmm. So no 2 3 stories tall no? so Kana sa pwede sa mahimong kay Kwang Gyod, ang name of the game should be for NUMC to establish annex Kwana uh, uh, annexes para makakonsentrate siya sa katong mga heavy duty Kwana Gyod para, kanang, and that is I think the outcome that we'd like to see na diha sa NUMC proper na diha ang mga tung 14 specialty, specialty. Uh, fields no mm. para ang general medicine no? I don't know what kung saan term ba na alam mga panganak mga kung sa diha uh, minor cases uh, pwede na dayon sa, sa satellite hospital uh, sa uh, kanang satellite would include kanang Tablon and Lumbia. Okay. Okay, kining, kining, an, kining mga health centers, di pag yun pwede nga may mong satellite. Mga kuwan na na sila uh, at best PCB. Yeah, PCB. No? Health center again siya. Uh, panganap uh, and then minor cases. Muna ang guwapo ka na, Atty. na Murag, may mong na siya zoning. Uh -huh. That will be the health uh -huh. zone na. Kanang, yeah, oh, murag sa, sa states, yeah. if kanang you need a highly specialized na, mm. na management or care, nagyod ka na siya, let's say, sa Texas, at Texas Heart, uh -huh. daghan kay uh -huh. hospital, uh -huh. ana lang siya. Uh -huh. Pero nagyod ka na mga hospital sa periphery uh -huh. na can manage the different cases. Kanang, cases. Oh, kung kinanglan na nagyod na, mm. special na na, matulad ito. Kanang nagyod eventually kay ang area sa NMMC is not getting bigger. Yes. So, ang services ang i, i ano i move ni mo elsewhere and pwede na tumuko sa city hospital. Mo sa dan ko ana to sa Tablon ug Lumbia. Uh, somebody asked me before, why put up Lumbia at Tablon? Ganaan na may JR Bora. Pero 
the answer ana is ang JR Mora da kuno kay sa karon pero still puno pagyapon kayo kay mudagan magyon ang ang magsik sa hospital care the more ang lesson mo dia the more the better you are the better services you deliver the more the patrons will be mas dagan gyud mo patronay sa imo uh, and that's 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 what I learned the uh, sa medicine sa dito sa Balingasak. Yeah. Uh, okay, ito, lolo ni Dr. Rocha, akong papa, they were, they had clinics. Pero tuntunon mo gis mga tao, sir. Tuntunon mo gis mga tao, gis mga tao, bahalag alas utso, alas nubi, alas gabi, iman, luktok mo gis mga katabang. Mo mo gis ng medical services, wherever you are, kung maayo ka pangitaon ni Kestao. So, right. uh, uh, <laughs> so, ang pan karon ang challenge sa NMMC is uh, how to be reachable still. In spite of the challenges, kay ang, ang demand sa NMMC, dili na kagiyan di Oro, Northern Mindanao. Apil na ang Karaga, apil na ang Sampuanga Peninsula. And ka, kasama na dyan yung mga trainings inyo, i-extend na rin ang trainings nila. So, wow. Magyan sa Mindanao, ah. Kaya, nangutan na sa ako, ano ang title sa kuhaan ko, NMMC, now? now and its future. future. Yeah. Kaya ang future sa NMMC is also the future of the upper half of Mindanao. Upper half of Mindanao, I'm not referring only to Cagayan de Oro, Northern Mindanao. Gikan sa uh, Agusan, Surigao, paingon dito sa sa Bonga City. Yeah. Mona. Basta ako, nagpa-picture na ko sa San Simon, daan. Kaya basin upuhon, <laughs> mga 50 years after, <laughs> naada yun yung add to bitaw ng illustration sa pictures. So, naay atong makakampo. Mm -hmm. Uy, uh, we were there when this was inaugurated. Ah, well, na may nakasulat niya sa screen. Sa 111 days <laughs> until Christmas? Yes, 111 wow, days na wow. lang before Christmas. Wow, wow. Ayan. Uy, uh, Mooncake Festival? Yes. Yeah. Salamat na ay ito na dawatan from the Consul General of China for Mindanao. Uh, Mooncakes. 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 Wow. Uh, so, so, ang Mooncake Festival sa Chinese is also a very, very special and meaningful Festival. Yeah, yeah. So, kung yun, very, very reassuring sa ako, that's the word that uh, I want to use uh, listening to Dr. Rocha and the plans of NMFC yes. uh, for tomorrow. Maayong hapon, kagayang the oral watching from South Luzon, Laguna. Uh, uh, from Elmer Salcedo. Uh, uh, Ayan. And uh, of course, ang atong taga New Zealand. Uh, uh, mayong hapon, Attorney OSM, Magsatanan. Keep safe and God bless us all. And of course, Dr. William Bernardo, still watching. <laughs> Thank you very much. And uh, yes, we miss you, Doc. Basta gani, isgutan ang hospital. <laughs> Sige. Anyway. Pero na, says Iligan ka ron. Yes, uh, yes. The, the, the best of luck sa imo, Doc. Kung sa kang Elmer Salcedo, uh, he knows your mom, uh, Tagapaligan. <laughs> Kaklasiko yan from grade 1. Uh, nasa <laughs> sa Pablo ngayon. No? Sa Baligasak. Uh, parts. Pakalaki niya, parts. Yeah. Uh, so, kanunay nga. Suki na sab. Suki na po nato sa overtime. Alright, attorney? Ay, yes. Yeah, ito uh, closing. Uh, closing sa nato. Let's ask uh, Dr. Rocha for his parting statement for this afternoon. Yeah, oh, actually, thank you very much. No, na Salamat kang attorney, kang Mama Maricel. And Na sa programa Overtime 2 at least na may bawaan sa katawahan what is in store for NMMC and unsa gyud among matabang sa inyo ha uh, especially in uh, of course the discipline of uh, medicine and of course uh, health no sa ano don't worry the gates of NMMC are always open gusto lang nako na i-remind ang katawahan na ang atong outpatient department no is open from 8 to 5 Monday to Friday except holidays ER is always open and naagyod ka na siya na balik mo ka nang uh, labi na na sa atong mga uh, the, our patients before na nahadlok tungod sa 
COVID no karon medyo arang-arang atong sitwasyon karon do not uh, do not uh, well uh, you have to take care of your own health no so importante ka na siya magkonsulta sa doktor uh, Briang NMMC para sa inyo ha NMMC para sa tanan so dagan uh, salamat sa tanan o gamayong hapon yes thank you very much yes attorney oka okay. yes salam <coughs> Salamat kayo, and like I said, I am reassured uh, listening to Dr. Rocha sa plan mo sa NMMC. And of course, uh, importante gid kayo ang suporta na itong tanan. Stay safe, and uh, <coughs> sa mga maayong practices, may atong i-adopt. And support our health personnel all over. Salamat. Stay safe. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much, Attorney Oka and Dr. Raksha. And sa tanahin na nakikuban, karon ka na mo. Stay safe. Mayong hapon. Kagayan niyo.